During a recent episode of Saturday Night Live, host Michael Che playfully took a jab at Prince Harry, humorously referring to him as Satan. Notably, Meghan Markle and Prince Harry were absent from the Golden Globes, becoming the subject of jokes after comedian Joe Coy mocked their lucrative contracts in 2023. The Sussexes faced setbacks, including the loss of their Spotify deal, with an executive from the company branding them as grifters. A royal expert observed that the consistent negative press indicates a decline in their popularity in the United States. Commenting on their changing status, Phil Dampier stated on GB News, When you've fallen out with the woke lovies and they're starting to take the mickey out of you, you know that your star has fallen. Besides the Golden Globes, popular animated shows like South Park and Family Guy also mocked the couple, with a commentator noting that people now see them as figures of fun. According to expert Maya Arzi, Meghan and Harry should brace themselves for being the subject of jokes, especially after last year's run-ins with Family Guy and South Park. She explained that since leaving the royal family, they have unfortunately become accustomed to such humor. The Golden Globes host, Joe Coy, was expected to make jokes about prominent figures, and Meghan and Harry were not spared. PR expert Ryan McCormack suggested that the comedian's mention of them implies that, in his eyes, the ex-royals remain relevant. McCormack added that their diminishing time in the spotlight might be due to a lack of action and a perceived failure to address criticism. In a Saturday Night Live sketch, Michael Che, during the Weekend Update segment, was joined by James Austin Johnson and Devin Walker, playing British rappers Millie Pounds and Shiree C.H., respectively. The comedic exchange touched on the royal family, with the rap featuring references to Prince Harry staying at Tyler Perry's and a nod to Meghan Markle's statement about concerns regarding their unborn child's skin color during the Oprah Winfrey interview in March 2021. Meanwhile, Duke of Sussex Prince Harry has dealt a major blow as he has been barred from role that would allow him to step in for his father King Charles. Archie and Lilibet father has faced the major blow amid rift with the royal family. According to a report by People magazine, Prince Harry will not be among the councillors of state that King Charles could call upon when he heads to the hospital to treat an enlarged prostate. The Times also reported that Prince Harry's councillor of state eligibility was quietly nullified soon after King Charles' accession. The legislation was passed by Parliament in late 2022 and it restricts those who can act as substitute to working members of the royal family. It effectively sidelines Prince Andrew and Harry, even though both remain councillors of state. In the legislation, King Charles added his sister Princess Anne and other brother Prince Edward to the members of the royal family who can act for him. King Charles will be admitted to hospital next week for treatment for an enlarged prostate, Buckingham Palace said Wednesday.